What's up guys, so I'm going to show you the best gyro controller settings in the new aim update inside of Fortnite, also including the best flick stick settings as well on Xbox and PS5. But real quick, I would like to let you guys know that I do get to my subscribers free skins and whatever they do want from the Fortnite item shop, including the Chapter 3 Battle Pass. So if you would like the chance to get a free gift from me in Fortnite, just drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel with the post notification bell turned on. Once you've done that, comment down below your Epic Games username so I can add you guys on Fortnite and send you a free gift. And if you would like to support the channel, be sure to use my supporter creator code, it's Ben YouTube in the Fortnite item shop, hashtag ad, hashtag epic partner. But now I'm going to be telling you guys the best gyro controller settings inside of Fortnite. If you guys don't know what gyro is, it's a new feature that got added to the settings. So, of course, when you actually aim in, normally it would just actually go ahead and be your analog sticks that you do move for the actual aim on your controller. But with this brand new Fortnite setting, it's actually going ahead and making it so that you can aim when you move your controller. So if you move your controller left to right, it will actually aim in for you however you are moving your controller. So you still move left and right with your analog sticks, but when you aim, you're actually aiming with your actual controller moving left and right. So it's like a motion type thing. So in this video, I'm going to be telling you the best gyro controller settings so that you can ensure that you're using this setting correctly and you will have a big competitive advantage over every single player who is also using this so this is pretty much secret settings and as you can see it's absolutely insane these gyro settings and these flick stick settings so i'm going to be showing you guys how you can do this on xbox and playstation the easiest and the fastest way possible so as you can see that is how the gyro and the flick stick settings work so it's literally really really easy and simple but i'm gonna go ahead and get into now how you can basically go ahead and have the best settings in this brand new aim update inside of fortnite chapter 3 so yeah this is going to be absolutely insane. So yeah, guys, the reason why you did click on this video is to find out the best settings, which I'm going to show you guys right now. So the first thing you want to do, guys, in order to get these gyro controller settings is make your way inside of the Fortnite Battle Royale main lobby, just where I am right here, right now. From here, what you guys will want to do is open up the pause menu. And once you guys have opened up the pause menu, you're going to see all these different options. Go down to this tire icon where it says menu. And then obviously you want to basically go ahead and click on settings. So once you guys are on settings, this is what you will want to do in order to get the gyro and the flick stick settings. I'm going to be showing you guys the best settings in this video. So you want to go all the way over to where it says this finger right here like literally tapping on something with a circle and this will say gyro aiming so this is obviously for a controller at the minute i've got my keyboard and mouse plugged in but this is for a controller literally playstation or xbox so now i'm going to be showing you guys the best settings so first of all you want your gyro aiming obviously on so once you guys have got your gyro aiming on, this is exactly what you will want to do to go ahead and basically get the best settings. So once you guys are on the touch and motion option, you'll see gyro options literally right here. So obviously, guys, the next setting which you want to do, scroll down to the bottom where it says flick stick. So of course, this enables flick stick. So basically, what this actually will go ahead and do is it will flick to the direction quicker, basically and it will basically flick the camera to face that direction so obviously if you flick behind you the 
camera will flick behind you and then obviously when you tilt it and rotate it it will all adjust to your bearing so basically you want this on if you want flick stick and it will come up with a warning and then you just want to go ahead and basically press confirm and then once you guys have got flick stick on i'm going to be showing you guys the best settings for gyro and flick stick for your controller so make sure guys you are paying attention to this so i'm going to go ahead and tell you guys the best settings right now literally straight to the point so you want your gyro aiming on you want active mode combat on scope or aiming that is definitely what you do want on you don't want it for any other options and active mode building you actually want to go ahead and basically set it to editing which is the default and then the look stick effect you want on none and the sensitivity this is where it comes into play so personally i would adjust the sensitivity when you first start it maybe to 1.5 play two or three games and then see if you can play 1.8 for the sense vertical horizontal ratio i would literally like barely adjust this but i would put it to 9.4 so 10.94 and then i found that the steadying is actually best at five and then the acceleration i would definitely go ahead and basically put that on high which is four times so we're nearly done with the best gyro options and then i'm going to be showing you guys the best flick stick setting so obviously you need flick stick on and then advanced gyro options you want to go ahead and make sure these are on and then press apply so just make sure that's applied and then flick time you want to leave this on 0 0.100 seconds because it will just flick so much quicker if you have it like up there it will take so long for the like the flick stick flick so rotation smoothing threshold i would put this on one rotation speed i would put that on like 1.3 and then on zoom scales rotation you want that on flick dead zone i would not touch this so 90 percent and then the forward dead zone is either seven or ten so seven or ten try whatever works for you i would say maybe ten and then down here you can see all the advanced gyro sensitivity so I would actually go ahead and adjust all of these to 1.3, literally just like I'm doing right here right now. So adjust all of these options to 1.3, zoom scale sensitivity on, and then all these settings down here, guys, which you can see, you want gyro space player, uh, you want the axis direction standard, roll axis direction standard, pitch axis direction standard, smoothing threshold five second uh five, and then smoothing window 0 0.125 seconds, tightening threshold five, dead zone zero, filter control of vibration off, and then all of these settings down here. So gyro button X function disable. Obviously, the next one's disabled. You want your gyro button hold time to like 0 0.100 seconds, and then track ball decay two and then drive in disables gyro on so apply those settings so yeah guys that's basically the video make sure you share the video with everyone you know go down below drop a like and subscribe to the channel with the post notification bell turned on and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace